And for a lot of us, this force is draining the fulfillment, the fun, the, the enjoyment that we can have in our careers in the pharmacy. And, and it's also affecting everybody around us. And that is our past. Yes, our past. The very easy, big concept that a lot of us have looked at and dealt with. But how do you look at your past? How do you feel about your past? And this, and I'm not just talking in a big, huge, you know, metaphysical way or anything like that. Like I'm just talking daily. Okay. I used to work with somebody, and they would keep a list of, uh, uh, in their mind, of, of all the wrongs that people have done to them, or or things that maybe I have said to them. They would keep that with them, and each time they would bring it up with me. They they would keep this mental bank of of things in their brain that they would just click on and just remember, and they would make them feel terrible with, and it affected our relationship too. And I want you to know that we do that every day. In a pharmacy, you know, we we have tons and tons of things that we have to do every day. We have new projects, we have new pushes for things, for MTM, for refill calls, for, you know, whatever you might be doing at your company. I, I'm sure, I'm assuming that you have a lot of different projects to do. And it's a lot of different pet projects that people come to you, they're excited with, an executive excited about it or anything like that, et cetera, et cetera. And within a month or two, it either fizzles out, or changes, or something that I was really promised to you doesn't work, and that just, it gets stored into your memory banks, okay? Now what we tend to do sometimes, as people, and as pharmacists, and, and whatever in the pharmacy and in life, is that when new things come up, all the old stuff starts coming into play, right away, right right in the back, so you kinda kill whatever new thing that's coming out, whatever new concept, or, or whatever new, uh, you know, uh, whatever new operating procedure or doing, whatever. Everything that comes from the back piles on. Now you might be doing this consciously and some of us might be doing it subconsciously, but a lot of us are doing it. And I, I just want you to know that it's there. And, and today that's what I wanna share with you. It's nothing really, it's not a huge concept. It's something that we you know, all know, you know, like a lot of us you know, feel we're certain ways because of our parents or because of how we're raised. And, and, and that is it's very true. We are you know, who we are because of our past. You know, we are where we are right now because of the decisions we made in the past, because of our beliefs in the past, and because of the people who have influenced us. That is a very big, big, big thing, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this at work right now. I want you to know that each day when something new comes out, I just want you to be aware of this concept. I want you to be aware that when something new, like let's say they're announcing like a new goal for this year for your vaccines, let's say your vaccines, okay? Let's say that number is there and, and, and all these thoughts can come flooding in from the past. It's like, oh great, you know, last year I had to do this many clinics and two years ago I had to do this and, and I had to do that and do this and do that and do this and that and that and this and this. And already within seconds of them announcing that new thing, you're already stressed. And that's kind of what happens in our brain. We keep this mental list going all the time of what's going on and what's going to happen what's doing this. Now what if we instead started to say, you know what? You know, the, okay, this this might happen to us in the past. Maybe maybe I had to do more work. I had to stay late. I had to do this. I had to do that to get my goal. You acknowledge it, and you have to move on from it. You have to know that each time something new comes out, you have to get that mindset. Each time something new comes out, that there's always some way for me to achieve this. And maybe you don't even know how you're going to achieve it. Like let's say like this month we started out with a really bad one or two surveys, and 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 it was just you know. That was like within a day or two, I got sick and then somebody had to come in and cover for me or whatever. And, and we started out with some pretty bad scores. And, and you know, and we were looking at it, we're like, what are we gonna do? You know, this is, this is not good. You know, we started out with these really two bad scores. You know, and at first, I mean, it's easy for me to blame my past right away. I'm like, oh man, you know, I have this huge goal. Oh man, you know, there's somebody who's there and they were just, you know, whatever with the, with, with the customers or, or whatever. The past was trying to come into play and trying to take over the situation and it was totally disempowering what, what I had to do. So instead I started asking a better question and I started, I've been doing this, these things called incantations which I'll, I'll share with you in another program and I also have in my program The Unstoppable Pharmacist and in my book The Unstoppable Pharmacist uh, of doing incantations and one of those that I do is that there's always a way. So instead of me thinking of everything in the past or where I failed before or where I didn't come through my scores, where I started out in the hole, where I started out behind, all those thoughts were coming through me and instead I started saying, no, there's always a way. There's always a way. And every time 
I, I, the thoughts, they, cause the thing with your brain is it will keep bringing this to the forefront of you. Oh man, remember when this happened, remember when you screwed up here, remember when that happened. You, my list of, of failures would start to come out and I'd say, no, there's always a way. There's always a way, there's always a way. And I'm proud to say that because we did that, we actually rocked our scores this month. We actually did it, we found a way to do it. And I want you to know that you could do it too, no matter where you are right now. So if something new is coming out, if you have season coming up, if you have some crazy goal that maybe your manager, your supervisor came up to you and you're just like, this is crazy. Just know that in the back of your mind, either consciously or subconsciously, your brain is playing this video. The, and it's going over in your mind and you might not even be aware of it right now, but it's playing every single thing that, you know, that you've screwed up, failures that have happened in the past, times that you set a big goal for yourself and you fell short from it. What you have to do is acknowledge that it happened and you can't pretend that it didn't, but you also got to just move past it. You can't keep looking in the rear view mirror trying to drive forward. You're just going to stay right where you are and you're going to go even backwards. So that, that's what I want to share with you today is 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 make peace with the past today. Make peace with it, just just get past it. And, and, and you know, maybe it's something you're still experiencing to this day, but make a promise to yourself that you're not gonna let everything in the past pile on top of that problem, making it that much worse. So that that's it, that's what I would like you to do today. If you write down maybe an area of your life right now that you're struggling with, think of maybe three really bad past experiences that you might be thinking about that are going into that. Think about you know three of your biggest failures, three of your biggest things that didn't follow through. But on the flip side, think of ways of, of how those failures actually made you a better person or something that you could have learned or something because you know what? There is something that you could have learned from it. There is some way that you could have, some concept, some key tool or something like that that you could have learned from it that maybe you didn't up to that point, didn't use, but now you can. Promise me you'll do this. Promise me you'll know it's there. And every time you start looping that list in your brain that you will not let it get to you, that you will say that there is always a way. All right, my name is Jake. 